Hey guys, long time no see. I'm here with my new friend Piper, and she's a red-eyed crocodile skink, and they're from New Guinea. Let's just jump right into it. it comes to handleability, we're gonna give them a score of four out of 10. I mean, they're super docile, as you can see, like they're not gonna hurt you, they're not gonna scratch you or anything like that. But here's the thing, they get stressed out super, super duper easily. Usually when you first get them, they will do this thing where they decide they're gonna play dead, and it can be a little scary at first, but just letting you know, they do play dead. But when it comes to longevity, we're gonna give them a score of five out of 10. Usually if they're careful correctly, which we still don't quite know yet because we only even discovered them in the 90s, you'll expect them to live between 10 to 15 years. When it comes to care, we're gonna give them a score of four out of 10. Because we've only known about them for the past couple decades or so, it, the, the care for them is still pretty up in the air. The big, but the biggest thing with them is you should not have a UVB for them. And there have been cases of UVB actually completely blinding the crocodile skinks. So when it comes to cost, we're gonna give them a score of three out of 10. They're gonna cost usually somewhere between 200 to $400, uh, depending on where you are. They are pretty hard to find, which is gonna give us our average of four out of 10. They're just amazing. I was actually gonna do a real life Pokemon on them, but then I had the opportunity to own one for myself. For, so now for the past couple of weeks, I've been learning how to care for them. You know, they're just a blast. They're, it's, they're probably my favorite reptile.